Kia ora. Uh, hi, I'm I'm Chris. I'm one of the pastors at Oxford Terrace, and I've been away for a few weeks. And um, we normally do a, a a we often do a midweek update. And this week it's um, it's Thursday, not Wednesday, as some of you probably have spotted. Um, I'm going to read to you from uh, from the Bible. As, uh, as I start, this weekend we have uh, Waitangi Day, and so on Sunday our worship service will have elements that uh, remind us about the origins of our country and our part in it as Christian people and so forth. And the text that I will preach from is from Second Peter. Come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight, and like living stones... Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is God's word, and I look forward to unpacking it on Sunday. So we've got a whole lot of things going on on Sunday. Uh, Waitangi uh, weekend, uh, it, it, it is a communion, and our tradition at Oxford Terrace has been to combine all three of our services on communion Sunday, on the first Sunday of the month. And uh, this is also the, the final time that we will be all together at 9.30. Uh, next week, we'll revert to our usual pattern of our three services. And uh, the, the, the summer period all, all together at 9.30 has been great. Uh, so this Sunday is the last time we'll do that. Uh, this year, on, the, on Communion Sunday, um, we're going to have a series of sermons that um, help us to think about what it means to be Baptist. Our Baptist uh, tradition, uh, what, what is interesting and, um, um, and distinct about being Baptist. And this Sunday, I'm going to preach... Uh, from those from those words, and it's going to be a bit about uh, priesthood, discipleship, community, and how those things relate to our our tradition. So that's something to um, I hope look forward to. I've got some notes on my whiteboard and uh, a couple of things, FYI, for your information. Um, uh, we are running a vaccine certificate service as per usual. That's our standard. All of our events, we, we, we're doing that because we're concerned to care and protect for each other. And with uh, the situation in our country as it stands, we are just wanting to be extra careful. No more than 100 people in our worship service. Um, please pay attention to physical distancing. Please don't go in for a hug or even a handshake. Just uh, let's let's do all that we can to be very good and vigilant in the midst of this pandemic. Wash your hands. If you're not well, if you've got the hint of a sniffle, please do not come to church. And if you're not keen to come to church, let us know that um, that's your position. Um, that, that That's really helpful to know what you're thinking with regards to our health and safety at this time. Uh, and... Um, uh, there's been a baby. Uh, I think maybe you got told this last week when Andrew was doing this little roundup, um, but um, I thought I'd tell you as well. So Brooke and Patrick have had a little baby girl, Maisie, and um, that's all good. They're going well. And of course, I'm harping on about it a little bit because uh, uh, in a related story, uh, that makes me a granddad. So um, I expect all sorts of cheeky comments from people about that to come my way. Um, and I'm willing to cope with that because it's quite good. Uh, our church uh, picnic, we have decided to cancel. We were planning to have one this Sunday. The weather forecast is not good. And also we were just tossing up uh, safety issues and things with regards to how close we should be to each other and pandemic matters the, the picnic has been cancelled and the the weather forecast was the tipping point uh, and cancellations are kind of um, normal in our life these days we've cancelled both of our fundraising um, projects that were going to happen in february um, and uh, that's a shame we've got uh, our fundraising team has met recently and we've talked 
um, about some new ideas for fundraising this year. We've got some commitments that we want to honour as far as raising funds is concerned. You'll probably notice when you come to church on Sunday, the building project is pressing on. There's more concrete has been poured just this morning. Uh, concrete blocks, the walls are going up. That's all very exciting. Uh, we do have to pay for it. And uh, we'll be talking more about uh, our fundraising ideas with you in the next, uh, in the next period. Um, I think the last thing is pray for Jane and Raymond who are stuck in Brisbane. And today, I think we've had some good news. It looks like the opportunities for travel from Australia are going to be loosened up. And the prayer is that we can see them again soon. We love them and we want uh, to have them as part of our church community and doing that vital work that Jane is, uh, is doing with our 2pm congregation. That's enough for today. Gosh, it goes quickly. Um, my little counter up here on the on the on this on my screen says six minutes. That went quick. Um, we'll see you soon. God bless. Bye.